Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, today we're going to go back to the dumpster fire known as TikTok. And we're going to look at some saying a single moms complaining about how hard it is to be a single mom and how stressed out they are, right? <laughs> and guys, I know, I know, I know. All of us have no sympathy at all. Because we all know what I say over here, guys. No single moms, Okay. Don't smash, don't date, don't even talk to them, guys. Make them make them pariahs, okay? Now, that's the only way that this single motherhood thing is going to actually be solved. This issue is if we make single mothers into pariahs, all right? Just don't even talk to them. Make them invisible. And only a fool would ever deal with a single mom. So, guys... We're going to jump in into this, but before we do, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It really helps keep this channel going, guys. Hit the notification bell, guys. I go live every thir Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so feel free to join. And let's jump into this, guys. Oh, wait. First off, guys, hashtag single mom, hashtag boy mom, hashtag therapy, hashtag therapy Thursdays, hashtag mental health matters. Hashtag mental health awareness. Hashtag anxiety. Hashtag Jeep talk. And, then <laughs> and look, she's got a, a neck tattoo and both nostrils pierced and the nerve to have a Harvard sweater on. I'm not making this up, guys. I am not making this up. All right, okay. <laughs> Let's get into it. Therapy was today. We on Thursdays now. My nose is red, so you already know what it is. Being a single mother is fucking hard. And that's what we talked about today in therapy. Okay? Um, as good as I make it look, and I do make it look good. Please. This shit is hard, all right? And when young women ask me about um, being a mother or women in general who don't have children ask me about being a mother, I always tell them don't fucking do it. The anxiety around being a mother just makes it, you know, I don't want to say not worth it, but like, honestly, if you can save yourself some anxiety, why the fuck not? <laughs> I want so much for my son to have a better life than me little to no trauma i want him to grow up knowing how to swim and fish and ride a bike and and yet he doesn't have a father she wants her son to have a better life than her but he's a bastard child out there and guys don't get it twisted she's raising one of the future carjackers of america all right that's just how it works. I mean, look at this. Nails, tattoos, nostrils pierced, all this other stuff. This, is, this little kid is doomed. And roller skate and all the shit that kid's supposed to know how to do. You know what I'm saying? And also, I want him to take vacations and have this village of loving people and positivity. But I also have goals. Um, I'm still trying to elevate myself, you know? And I don't want to stay stuck stagnant because oh i'm gonna stay where i know i have a lot of support which really is nowhere but you know it would have been easier for me to be back in my hometown because that's where my immediate family is but that ain't me i'm in houston and i'm in houston with nobody you know what i'm saying and as fucked up as me and my mom's guys don't ever did a did a woman who who cusses this much i mean come on I don't even cuss this much. In my regular life, guys, I cuss a lot, but I don't cuss this much. Relationship was and kind of still is. I think I took for granted the fact that I could always call her and she would be there. Now, I would be dealing with other bullshit on the back end, but she would still be there as support for me and Cam. And that's just the physical anxiety. We're not talking about the emotional anxiety that comes with constantly worrying when Cam is not with me physically. That's the sound on her end, guys. It ain't the sound on mine. Or never wanting him to be sad and just worrying about the heartbreak and heartache that he's going to have to go through growing up as a, you know, as a young man and as an adult. The, the anxiety is just never ending. 
And I mean, you see women out there who put themselves before their kids all the time. They don't give a damn. And then you see those women who put their kids first so much that they forget about their dreams, their goals, their aspirations and everything. And so it's harder as a woman who's trying to balance, you know, who's just trying to care about myself just enough where I continue to reach my goals. But, you know what I'm saying? I would never, I would never put myself over Cam to the point where it is detrimental to him. So anyways, my therapist gave me pointers, gave me a pat on the back, told me I was doing good. And So guys, did you notice what she low-key did there? Oh, I know that it would probably be a better environment for my son to if I had stayed in my own hometown where I had support. But no, 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 no. I have dreams. So I'm going to put myself first and move my son out of a situation that's probably better off for him. Clown world, guys. Guys, future car jackers of America. <laughs> that's what these women are raising, guys. Clown world. I literally don't think that people who aren't single mothers understand how hard it is to be a single mother. And like... You don't have to so like i get it that you don't understand but like oh my god let me let me explain my day to you i'm in my room <laughs> look at this face hold on look at that look at this face <laughs> she's all yours you guys she's all yours hey guys she says people who don't aren't single moms don't understand how hard it is uh-huh a lot of people do understand that's why they're not single moms and that's why us guys don't date single moms guys hashtag single mom life hashtag single mom of tiktok hashtag working single mom life hashtag single mother hashtag single mom saga hashtag single parents of tiktok hashtag single parent is hard hashtag struggling today hashtag single 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 motherhood life Ugh. so i worked i work a nine to five so today's monday got up at six went to work before i went to work though i got everybody's lunch ready made everybody breakfast got everybody ready got myself ready etc made it to work by nine Worked all day. Picked up my kids. Went to the grocery store to get a full week's worth of groceries. Spent $150. Came home. Had to lug four full bags of $150 worth of groceries from Aldi's upstairs. Came home. Had to make dinner. Dinner's currently cooking. When dinner's over, I have to do baths and shower. And the bedtime routine. I'll do it again tomorrow. Single motherhood is not for the week. <laughs> Guys. The, okay, so the plot thick, the thickens. This woman is married. And in the comments, they're going in on this chick because they're saying she calls herself a single mom with, with a husband. So she's trying to say that she does everything herself. So she might as well be a single mom because her husband doesn't help. Because <laughs> he's married and all these single moms are, are going in on her in the comments, dude. What? I'm a married single mom. I, I meant to say that. Oh, man, look at that. So she's trying to take on this little single mom. Oh, it's so, so hard when she just has to be a wife and a mom. Please, clown world. If you've got saggy boobs and terrible hair and adult acne and crippling anxiety and it doesn't matter whether or not you put on makeup because you still look really old and then you realize that your life is half over and you haven't done anything that you've ever wanted, Dry your tears. It <laughs> Guys, no hashtags needed, right? <laughs> Guys, this is single moms for you, man. Why? Why would any man choose to insert himself into this situation? Guys, in the comments, please. Guys, and I, I dare anyone anyone that 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 thinks that I'm being mean that thinks that all my subscribers are being mean by by just crapping on these single moms I dare you to try and make a case to try and make this beneficial to a man I dare you I dare you to try and make this appealing to a to a guy because I would be interested to see
<laughs> what you can come up, come up with. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, and I'm out of here.